How you doing guys? This is Ryan. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about why there's not going to be a major recession or market crash. Let's get into it. Quick disclaimer, this is not financial advice, this is just my opinion. I do this for entertainment. I say this every video, but uh, with that said, let's jump into it and have some fun. Now, it's very popular on YouTube for anyone to say, the market's gonna crash, this, that, blah, 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 why there's gonna be the Great Recession again or Great Depression, everything's gonna go bad. And it, it gets a lot of traffic. You know, humans were more attracted to bad news versus good news. If you watch news every day, it's always this bad thing's happening, this bad thing's happening, rather than hearing about good things going on. Because humans, we're kind of basic creatures. We, we like to stay away from pain. It's a primal instinct within us. We wanna make sure that we're safe. So if anything is bad or scary out there, we need to make sure we stay away. So if we hear the market's gonna crash, all these bad things are gonna happen, we're gonna be attracted to that content. And this became especially a big topic last week when the 10-year US bond inverted with the two-year. This has been a popular recession indicator in the past and it should be considered. But I wanna show you some other things that investors maybe aren't considering and could lead to them losing a lot of money by getting out of the market and not investing because they're scared of the crash. So looking back at previous market crashes, there's a couple other variables to look at that are very common, especially with really bad market crashes. And if you study macroeconomics, you'll understand that the United States, we follow what's called a Keynesian macroeconomic philosophy if you don't know what it is, I suggest you strongly study it. John Maynard Keynes pretty much wrote the book on modern macroeconomics. And it's pretty much predicated on a lender of last reserve, a central bank that will lower interest rates and flood the economy with money if it appears weak. And this became predominant thought during the Great Depression. And what we have seen since is a boom bust cycle. The case I wanna make is that the boom in the economy, the major market boom that we've had, starting back with the roaring 20s, to the greatest era in American history post-World War II, to the dot-com bubble. These are all major economic booms in the United States economy. And the end of the boom is kind of euphoric. So for example, the dot-com boom led to a recession in 2001, a rather minor recession, but all the malinvestment, all the euphoria, all the money making, all the misallocated wealth that was put into tech stocks caused the crash because wealth was misallocated. We can look at the same thing going back to 2008, all the misallocated wealth that went into real estate, causing the boom, followed by the bust. Now, filming this in 2019, I don't see a major boom. I see the stock market overall since 2011, since it's been in its bull market, has annualized return of 9%. That's not a boom, that's close to its historical average. Housing, especially here in South Florida that had the major boom, is moving about a few percentage points a year. After the bust cycle, it was going up a lot more because while wealth can be misallocated on the way up, it can also be misallocated on the way down. Too many people leave the market and creates opportunity for investors. So let me know in the comments section, do you see a major boom in the economy right now? Do you see any major United States part of the economy that is way overvalued and that's going through a major boom cycle. So for that first reason, I don't see a major economic crisis coming. And the second indicator I really look at following these major market pullbacks, like we saw during the 70s when stocks went nowhere, and like we saw with the end of the stock market run after the dot-com boom, stocks went essentially nowhere from 2000 to 2011. I also pay attention to the commodity cycle and there's really an inverse correlation between stocks, equities, and commodities. Commodities are things like you pull out of the ground, like gold, oil, silver, wheat, corn. A good indication of a market crash is drastically falling commodity prices. The cheaper commodities become, the less of a burden it is on the United States economy. More money can go into investment into things like tech and it could take a burden off of United States citizens and make more money available for investment and the economy grows that way. And we see during these 20 to 30 year long stock runs that commodities just get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper causing positive effects to the boom cycle. But the problem then becomes when commodities become too cheap and not enough people are out there able to profitably mine them, farm them, and take the resources and put them back into the economy and sell them. This leads to a decline in production 
which forces the market to increase the prices for those to make it more profitable for more people to enter the market. And this is where we see the inverse. Now more money from the economy needs to be allocated into commodity sectors. Now a less percentage of United States money can go into stocks and research and development into tech and things that really are growth engines for the economy. But right now we don't have that. And actually we have a, a mini bull run going on in the gold market. Another commodity I follow like silver is trading at $17 on the exchanges. And silver wheat can mine it for $4. So it's very profitable to mine commodities still. So just on a side note, my prediction is that we have a great decade here in stocks. It'll go up and down. That last year was a negative year for the market, and yet people are so fearful of the crash. We just had a negative year. And my prediction is I think likely we'll see another boom cycle. And in my prediction, it's gonna be in tech and innovation. And right now you have so many people that haven't gotten in the market. They're gonna watch other people that are in the market get rich and make a lot of money. Then it's gonna bring a flood of other investors in. Well, I missed the boat. Right now, the skepticism and the fear of 2008 happening again is actually allowing the markets to stay calm. But once we forget how hot the stove was when we touched it, many people will forget how painful 2008 was. It'll never happen again. And when you hear that kind of sentiment, that's a real indicator for a recession. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up too. It really helps get this video to a broader audience. The more interaction, the more comments, the more likes. And also just share this video if you find it to be helpful content. If you have a friend that's scared to go outside because he's scared the economy is gonna fall on him, um, <laughs> have him check out this video. And if you have not already, please make sure to subscribe. I post videos here every single week to do with financial independence, investing, business, things like that, and just enjoy being a part of the YouTube investing community. But as always, until next time.